When you think of Ferrari, you likely imagine sleek and powerful sports cards, speed, luxury, being number one. But what about the man behind the brand, Enzo Ferrari? The legendary founder of the company lived a life as fascinating as the car he created, and his house is just as intriguing. But where is it now? You know, many people believe that Enzo's Ferrari's house was located at the Ferraro factory in Marinello, Italy, where the cars are still made today. However, this might not be the case. Enzo's actual residence might be located in a small village called Modena, just a few miles away from the factory. It was rumored that he lived there with his family and spent his days creating and perfecting his beloved cars. The house, which was built in the 1930s, was actually a modest two-story villa with a red roof, white stucco walls, and a small garden. Inside it was de decorated with simple furnishings, photographs of cars, racing, and various mementos from his life and career. It was here that he spent his days working, entertaining guests, and relaxing with his family. But as times passed, the house fell into disrepair, and it seemed as though it would be lost to history. However, in the early 2000s, a group of Ferrari enthusiasts and preservationists decided to take action. They banded together to restore the house to its former glory and open it to the public as a museum. Visitors can tour the house and see the restored bedrooms, living rooms and offices as well learn about Enzo's life and the history of Ferrari. This house also features a collection of photographs, documents and trace the history of the company and its founder. Rumor has it also that Michael Schumacher stayed in his house as well when he raced for Ferrari. Not just that, I'm sure you'll spend more hours here as one interesting fact about Enzo Ferrari's house is that it's not only a museum, but also a bed and breakfast, as I said before. So you, if you're a true Ferrari enthusiast, you can actually spend the night in Enzo's own home, a truly unique and unforgettable experience for sure. And imagine waking up in the morning, having breakfast, and in the same dining room where Enzo Ferrari had his dinner or sleeping in the same bed where Enzo used to rest after a long day of work. It's once in a lifetime experience and I surely as a Ferrari owner and enthusiast, I want to do that as well. And Enzo Ferrari's house may no longer be the private residence of the man behind the iconic brand, but has been beautifully restored and now serves as a tribute to Il Comandatore himself, Enzo Ferrari. And let me tell you, as a true Tifosi Ferrari fan, I would definitely put this on your bucket list if you're a car enthusiast. <laughs> Thank you.